This is Ms. Black and this is Open Campus Math 102. We are in Module 17 and we're in B now. Remember, this whole section is about vocabulary words related to graphs because we've been working a lot on graphing. So in this module, we're going to learn about three very simple, easy words. They're the words increasing, decreasing, and constant. And these words can be used not just with lines or circles or hyperbolas or parabolas. These are used with anything we graph. So I know we've already graphed lines and circles. So these words can be used with any graph. So let's go to our notes and let's talk about what these words mean because you really need to see a picture to understand them. So if you look here, I have a graph of some kind of crazy curve. The word increasing means if you could physically take your finger and trace the curve, starting at the left side and going to the right side. So you always start at the left side of the graph, and if you put your finger on it and you trace the blue, the graph, if your finger keeps going up, 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 we call that function increasing. Makes sense. All right, our next word. Same concept. I have a picture of a crazy curve here. If I start on the left side, and I put my finger up at that point on the left side with the hole on it, and I trace my finger all the way following the blue, my finger keeps going down, 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 down. We would call that decreasing. So increasing means the graph is going up from left to right. Decreasing means the graph is going down from left to right. So obviously the third picture, the word is constant. Constant means it doesn't change. Again, if you start on the left side of the graph, you put your finger on that blue line and you start tracing it, your finger's not going up, your finger's not going down, it's staying steady, hence the word constant. Something that's constant doesn't change, it stays steady. So, we have these three new words, increasing, decreasing, constant. They all have to do with looking at a graph and tracing it from left to right. So, I have three graphs here. We're going to take one by one and talk about these vocabulary words. So let's go to the whiteboard. Okay, guys. Here is my first graph. Now, we have not drawn anything like this before. It is okay. What I'm trying to show you is it doesn't matter if you actually ever drew this on your own on paper. I can use some of these new vocabulary words to describe the picture of the graph. So if I start on the left side, and remember, the x-axis goes left to right. So this is the left side. There's no graph, no graph, no graph. Here's where the graph starts. I put my finger on it, and I start tracing it. What do you notice about my finger? It keeps going up, 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 up. So which word here would describe that graph? Increasing, decreasing, or constant? Very good. The word that describes it is increasing. Now, not only do they want to know the correct word that describes it, they want you to tell them exactly in math what number does the increase start on and what number does it end on. Now this is confusing because we know when we put our finger on the graph paper, every point on the graph paper has an X value and a Y value. So every point has two numbers with it. Well when you talk about the words increasing, decreasing, and constant, you're talking about tracing the picture starting at the left and going to the right. And think about that. Which axis starts at the left and goes to the right? It's the x-axis. So when you're giving an answer about where does a graph increase or decrease or it stays constant, you are giving the x values because that's how you trace a graph. You look at a graph, you start on the left and you go to the right. And that's following the x-axis. So we talk about these words, we only use the x values. So let me put my finger on the graph. Here's this point. This is where it's going to begin. It's where I start tracing. What is this point's x value? Well, it's at 0. It's not at 1. 1 is its y value. That's what y'all are going to say. Y'all are going to put down 1 and you get marked wrong. The x value is 
zero. So we'd say the increase starts at zero. Then we're going to put a comma, and we're going to tell how far it increases. Well, it starts here, and it goes, 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 and this arrow implies that it's going to keep going and keep going. So can you tell me when the increase is going to stop? No, you can't. Long time ago, and many, many modules ago, we talked about that is if you keep moving to the right of a graph, where are you going? You're going to positive infinity. So I hope this looks familiar. We're writing this answer in what we remember we called interval notation. Now, we already discussed this long modules ago. In interval notation, infinity always gets a parenthesis. Now, what do we put on the zero? A bracket or a parenthesis? Well, there's an actual point here, right? We're starting the increase at x is zero. So there's a point there, we put a bracket. That's how we describe that graph. That graph is increasing starting at x is zero and going on forever to the right. Pretty easy, right? All right, let's try the next graph. So let me erase this. And let's get the next one. The next graph looks like something we've drawn. It's called a parabola. So let me get a graph for you. There's a point here at x is 1. There's a point here at x is negative 3. There's a point way down where here. All right. All right. So there's the second picture in your notes. We have a graph of a parabola. So again, first thing we want to do is we want to figure out which words or words describe the parabola. The only way I think you do it is physically touch the graph. Start on the left side, put your finger, and trace it, explain the movement. So here's the left side. And if I start tracing it, what's my finger doing? It's going down, down, down. So what word means going down, down, down? Decreasing. But wait a minute. When I get here, which is the vertex point, what happens to my finger? If I keep tracing, now it's going up, up, up. So what word describes up, up, up? That's right, increasing. So a parabola graph does both. It decreases a while, and then it increases. Now, not only deciding what word to use, we have to talk about where it starts, where it ends. So let's start with the decrease. The decrease is starting right here on the left. Now, is it actually starting at x is negative 5? Well, it would if that was a point there. But there's an arrow, which means this parabola keeps going over to the left. Remember we talked about that as a parabola goes up, it goes to the left. How far to the left is it going to go? You're right, to negative infinity. So we don't know exactly where on the left side the decrease is going to begin. But it's going to start somewhere on the left, and as we trace, it's going to go down, 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 down until we get here the vertex point. And where the vertex point is, is where the decrease is going to stop. Now here's the boo-boo. You're all going to put your finger there and see negative 4 and say it stops at negative 4. When we give increase and decrease, we use the x value of the point. So the x value of this point is at negative 1. And because there's a point there, we'll put a bracket. Now we're not done. Not only did you say this graph decreases, you also said this graph increases. Well, the increase starts here at the vertex point. That's where it changes. So in some books, they call the vertex point the turning point, because that's where the parabola turns directions. Makes sense, right? So here we are. We're going to start the increase here. Again, what is this point's x value? Negative 1. Put a comma. Now, how far is it going to increase? It's going to go to the right, going to go to the right, going to go to the right. Is it going to stop? Nope, the arrow applies. It goes on forever and ever and ever. That's going towards positive infinity. So remember, infinities and in interval notation always get parentheses. These are points. They get brackets. So far, so good. Awesome. All right, we got one more graph. So let's erase this. Let's look at a graph again that's something of you not drawn before. 
This is a very unique graph. This is actually going to be a graph that's two pieces fused together. If you look very closely, you have a diagonal line coming up, and then it turns into a horizontal line. That is actually a picture of your other definition in Module 17a, a piecewise function. It's two different pieces put together. It's a diagonal line and a horizontal line, just so you know. Now, what I want to do is talk about the vocabulary words. We have three words here. Which words describe this graph? Well, again, we start on the left side. Put your finger in trace. My finger's going up, 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 up. That must be the word increasing. Now I'm here, and I'm tracing my finger. It's not going up. It's not going down. It's staying steady. That must be constant. So for this graph, we're going to use the words increasing and constant. Not only do they want to know what the words mean, they want to know where it starts, where it ends. So again, if we start on the left side, do we actually have a starting place? Well, if this was an actual point, I would say, yes, we're starting at negative 5. But because there's an arrow, it implies it keeps going. So how far to the left does it go? Well, it doesn't ever end. It's got an arrow. So we're moving to that increase starts at negative infinity. Somewhere on the left side where x is getting smaller and smaller, negative infinity, we are going to start increasing. We're going to increase till we get all the way here. Here's where you all going to mess it up. You're going to put your finger there and see the number negative 2. Is negative 2 the x value? No, it's not. It's the y value. When you use the words increasing, decreasing, and constant, you only use x values. So at this point, the x value is, again, negative 1. And there's a point there. Now, we said it's constant. Well, it's constant. It begins here. Again, that point's x value is negative 1. And if we keep going on and on and on to the right, it's never going to stop being constant to the right. So that's going towards positive infinity. So that's all there is to those words. It's physically looking at your graph, tracing it with your fingers, starting at the left, going to the right. And understanding when you trace from left to right, you're looking at the x-axis. That's why we're only using the x values of the point where we begin and the point where we end. Now let me make one note. Every author of every textbook in math is a little bit different. We've been using one author's textbook. In my past, I've used another author's textbook. And let me say this. You have to be very careful. One textbook I looked at, because this is an actual point on the graph that exists, we use brackets. But another author in their textbook said, Every time you talk about increasing, decreasing, and constant, you keep it all in parentheses. And I can understand the reason why that author thinks that. So what I'm telling you is you're going to have to pay attention now to your book, to the author of your book. Each person's a little bit specific. Some authors think if there's the actual point there where it begins or ends, you put a bracket to say you equal that value. I agree with that. But another author may think, that you should only put parentheses. And let me explain why. If I am standing physically here at a point, am I actually moving right now? No, I'm not. So am I increasing? No. Am I decreasing? No, I'm just staying put. It's only when I leave that point and start moving can you tell if I'm going to go up or go down. So some authors of some math books believe when you write increasing, decreasing, and constant, you never use brackets. You just use parentheses. And their belief is because they're saying, when you physically get here and stop, you're not increasing anymore. The increase is physically in between. And that's why they use just parentheses. So I'm telling you that up front because every textbook is a little bit different. Okay, and you're going to have to pay attention to what your author says they want you to use when you write increasing, decreasing, or constant. Like I said, the current book we're using now says you put brackets because that's an actual point. Uh, 
other version of a book we've used in the past said every time you do increasing, decreasing, constant, you use parentheses because at this point you're not actually moving. It's in between where you're doing the actual increasing. So please just pay attention to the author of your book so you know which way to write it. Okay, I'll see you in the next module.